Our live team coverage continues with 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmuth. He was at John Booker's court appearance in Topeka. Yeah, he walked in about 2.30 today, handcuffed, chains around his ankles. He was wearing a head covering as well. His already short stature made it appear that he was even younger than he already is at 20 years old. John T. Booker also goes by the name Muhammad Abdullah Hassan. He's being charged with multiple counts, including attempting to use a weapon of mass destruction, attempting to damage property with explosives, and attempting to provide material to support a known terror group in ISIL. The FBI says they've been following Booker's plan since October when he unknowingly began confiding with informants. Court documents describe what he told an undercover agent regarding his planned attack on Fort Riley. It's alleged that he told another individual that detonating a suicide bomb was his number one aspiration because he couldn't be captured, all the evidence would be destroyed, and he would be guaranteed to hit his target. Now, I also spoke with Booker's father, that's John Booker Sr., in his driveway here in Topeka this afternoon. He wouldn't go on camera, but he did tell me he's a proud veteran. He was wearing his veteran's hat. He's, he's, he loves his country very much, and he's happy his son got arrested. He says his son is one of four kids. He's a twin, but he hasn't seen very much of him since he graduated high school about two years ago. And he said, in his own words, that somewhere he went wrong. Reporting live from Topeka, Josh Helmuth, 41 Action News.